Welcome back. This is Salvador again. Uh, welcome back to Electromagnetic Motion Week. Uh, this is day three. And yesterday we had a... We created this little car. Uh, and we're taking this direct drive car. Uh, it's direct drive because the motor is directly connected to, to the wheel. And we're going to make a, a flippy car. It's going to be a transmission car, right? So we'll be able to we'll be able to flip this around, and it'll run with a different system. And you'll see that right now. All right, so let's get started. So the supplies needed will be two binder clips, a rubber band, a bobby skewer. You'll need a little block, a water bottle, a paint paddle, and two shorter paint paddles like that. Okay, so we'll start by laying our bottle down, kind of like that, and then we're going to glue these paint paddles together, and we want to make a little cradle for it, almost like a support. We're going to make sure it's wide enough to fit the bottle inside of it, just like that. We'll hot glue these ends together. And we'll hot glue this side. Just like that. Okay. Then you grab your bobby skewer. And with a sharp end, put it through your bottle. Your bottle should have holes. Just like this. Okay, then you grab your rubber band and you stretch this thing out and put it over your bottle, just like this. Last step is to grab your binder clips, get those guys ready, and our goal is to clip these this bobby skirt onto this, but you can see it's a little bit too long. So we'll use our wire strippers. And snip that off. Do that. Or if you have them, you can use your pliers. Just like, whoa. And clip it on like that. Looks pretty good. Then you grab your carrito. And we're going to glue on this block. Right around here. You want to glue it on. You'll see where you want to glue it on right now. But it's about three inches away from the nose. Let me glue this guy onto this. Just like that. Okay, then. Once it looks like this, you grab your rubber band. Once it looks like this, you grab your rubber band and you're gonna stretch it over your wheel and onto the glue stick. You see that? You'll see when you spin the poker chip, this bottle wants to spin. Okay. 
So you want it to be actually on the motor shaft. It's right there. Okay, let's test this out. Look at that. You see this transmission working right here? So now this car went from direct drive, which would be this wheel, to a transmission drive with uh, through this rubber band from the drive shaft to the rubber band to this water bottle. Same as last time, you can switch the direction by switching the leads. So I'll put the red one directly onto the motor and the black one onto the resistance wire. Yeah. And then you can flip it over and make it a direct drive. If you're having trouble with your leads, there's a few things we can do. We can run them opposite of each other. So maybe run one through the bottom, run one through the top. You can, uh, you can use some of this tape. If you, if you see that there's a short circuit somewhere where the leads are connecting and not providing power to the motor, you could maybe tape them together I mean, sorry, tape them separately. So I'll tape this one here. I'll tape that there. Here, let's clip this on. Actually, sorry, this clip's on here. So I think this is pretty good. And again, if you want to change the speed, let's say you want to go slower, you'll use more resistance wire. Right. Gotta slow it down a little bit more. If you want to go full force, you ignore the resistance wire and you just connect these guys directly to the motor. And again, we will race these tomorrow and you want to make sure that this thing's functioning correctly. If it's wobbling or tilting off to one side, maybe add more weight. This one's a little leany, so you might want to add some weight here. That could look like a scrap piece of wood. It could be a big old glob of hot glue. It could be a rock. It could be a whole bunch of stuff. And if, uh, yeah, another way to change the balance of it is to remove your batteries. And you can, you can hot glue them off to the, the back right here. 
off to the side. If you have long enough leads, you can move it around however you want. As long as it's not interfering with, with the transmission or the uh, the direct drive. 